that peekable defense, and he does that. He blocks, he survives, he gets through rounds. But if he's gonna win here, he's gotta do more than that. And if he does more than that, he might get knocked out. But he gives himself a chance to win. Again, we just went to round one and we went to the corners. Bernardo, as soon as he was with the team and he was in the corner for Poling. Bernardo, what should we know? Benavidev comes in, probing behind the jab. Again, if I'm Benavidev, if I'm in his corner, I'm telling him one thing. I'm telling him, did you ever watch the Philly Stevenson years ago? You were an Olympian, and he's got a murder in his straight left hand, a power punch for a southpaw. But I think that there's guys that are a little bit better than him. If he survives this round, however, he will have gone farther against Betta Biev than any of his other previous 11 opponents, including a former champion, Tavares Klaus. He's a better level fighter. Well, Teddy, let me ask you this. Uh, evaluate Better Biev for us tonight. First, I'm going to say this about Cole. He's doing enough to lose well. And if that's not strong enough and moving enough, then it's never going to happen. What I'm, su what I'm suggesting is maybe Colin can look himself in the mirror. Again, a lead right by Better Bia. Right, Ted. Coming in one at a time. Body shot backs him up. Seems to have Colin wilting just a bit here at the end of round 10. And if you notice, those shots are still the looping right hand, whether it's up top or down below. Yes, I am. Tremendous. Very, very blessed. Me and Elena, very. Very blessed, and so is uh, Elaine's husband, Jeff. Right hand. Uh, mother Susan, we have a beautiful young boy. Better be up now, moving in, landed with that right hand. Is that not a criticism of a fighter with a world title on the line, his reputation, the world watching? I hear you. I hear you. Somewhere between the two of you, authors, I think the truth lies. His legs are betraying him. That's a hard body shot by Better Be up. That was percussion. But that's why I said when Mark had asked me rounds and rounds earlier. Poland takes a knee as he goes down, as he has been beaten down by Better Biev. There's no question Better Biev in this round has upped the action. You know, Mark had asked me earlier, can Poling do something late because that's his plan? And I said, no, too much to be taken out of. And you're seeing that right now. Better Biev has never had to stand in the ring and listen to a decision as a professional. And down goes Poling. He will still not have to listen to the cards. A knockout win and the light heavyweight championship to Artur Beterbiev. Simulation of punches and then the second knockdown and the end of the night with the right hand. 13 knockouts against Kalajic. Left hook. Huh. Instead of coming out with a jab, he just came right at him. Sweeping right hand. Just look at that upper body of Better Bia. You see such a sturdy guy. He's, he's got a guy who physically looks like he would be heavy-handed, doesn't he? He chases no, him no, back, stop. nearly put him through the ropes. Kalajic. Fellas, Better Bia isn't just sneaky. He's physically stronger. Kalajic has a three-and-a-half-inch reach advantage. What he no, hasn't no, shown is... But I think he's afraid to throw it because he's been hit with some left hooks from Better Bia. Absolutely. He doesn't want to open up to get hit with right hands like that. But he don't have to take a chance. You got to keep this bull above him. And I'm talking about Kalaj. Side, and it was a right hand that landed for Rob, and then Better Biev comes no, no, back no, no, and has a short shot that has success with it as well. It's entertaining with the action we're seeing here, but can he sustain it? Trading punches. Look at this. Back and forth they go. Short right hand from the champ, and Kalajic is hurt. Paid the price. That's a technical One, knockdown. The rope two, supported him as the knee was three, going down. Four, five, six. And we saw seven, it coming. Eight, what could potentially be too Stop risky of a strategy. It's not just boxing. That's called power boxing from Better BF. He's hurt. Big round for Better BF. And he got Kalajic damaged there in round three and now smothering again here early on in round four. Oh, and here comes Rod saying, I'm going to go for broke, and he scores. Lots of four. Right hand from Kalajic gets turned around and better be if lands a right hand of his own. It's not, and I think Kalajic is still hurt.
from that last round. He was hurt. He was buzzed at the end of that last round from the right hand. Even this mauling, smothering stuff on the inside. These short left hands that are coming from four inches away are doing damage. He's just getting beat up right now. Bruising. Look at this. That is better. Bruising is a great descriptive for better BF. Towards his right. That's the range that better BF wants to be at right now. That's a danger zone if you're hot rod. And there is the right hand that was able to get around the guard of that left. Then he goes to the body with one as well. Better Jumping right yeah. hand. Overhand right from Better BF. And Rod is hurt again. He's hurt. Wobbly feet, but yet willing to exchange. Oh, he tried to go with a one punch. Archer Better BF. Will it be 14 for 14? As he comes out, and this fight is over. Better BF retains his title with a fifth round TKO. Yeah, just too much pressure from Better BF. Nice overhand right. That's the shot that I said it was going to land, and it landed hard. And the ref just stepped in and seen enough. The legs of Kalajic was just not underneath him at all. Big overhand right, right on the temple. As he pulls straight back, and the pressure coming from Better BF all night long. The middle of the forehead is starting to redden a better BF from the punches of Volzik that he's been landing right down the middle. 10, 10 seconds, it's for the bell. It's for the bell. Good start here in our light heavyweight championship fight. Off balance that time at the end, and down goes Vozdik. That is being scored a knockdown. That short clubbing work on the inside. All three judges have been informed now that that is being overturned to a slip. It is not a knockdown. Well done by the Pennsylvania Commission. Over to Teddy Atlas to inform him that it was overruled upon review on the replay and it was a slip, but he did not like how Teddy berated Gary Rosado, the referee, coming out of the corner. That was the incident that happened at the end of one. You see better BF now. A little more free with that right hand, isn't he? Bostick over the top of that jab that time with a counter right hand, but better BF comes back with a right hand of his own and lands a big right hand, and Bostick ties up for a moment. So a right hand from Archer, better BF. Better BF, 34 years old. Bostick at 32 years old. So long amateur careers. Here you are, guys, 14 and 0, guys, 17 and 0. They say, listen, let's do it. Let's just get after it here right. and unify. Hall of Fame fighters, that's what they do. They take risks. You see some of those right hands are straying just behind the left ear. It's better be is willing to throw some most crueling and looping right hands. Combination that time from Vosden. Trying to cut him off with the left hook. And occasionally he'll escape. Better be a... End of three here in Philly. And then better be a returns fire in the midst of round number four. Light heavyweight world championship unification bout. Joe, that straight right from better be to the solar plex of Vozdik yes. was a heavy, heavy shot. And I know Vozdik still feels. Our two world champions toe to toe here in Philly. End of four, a quick break, and we will be right back. Mm. If you be on the ropes, you will stand up target for a big puncher. And if you lose concentration just for a split second test, well, you might have to pick yourself up off the canvas. Round number five, the rare occurrence of a light heavyweight unification title fight between undefeated world champions. Neither fighter are body punchers, but they, with the punch they do throw well to the body is a straight right. You see that right hand? Yes. That better BF just landed. And there's another good body punch by Better BF. Here's the deal with Better BF. No matter where it's aimed for. And then Meanwhile, Vostick firing back. Yeah. And able to get away from a right hand there. And now tying up on the inside is Better BF lets loose. He's looking for any opportunity to land anything on Vostick. From his trainer, there is the right hand. It better be if this is often the case. The test is the variation of the right hand. Better be if he's landing. Round number six. Everything on the line. The right hand by for these two. 
Good right hand to the body. And there's another right hand to the body from Better Biev as Vostik takes a step back near those ropes. And then he comes in with a right uppercut to Better Biev, trying to time him, a clubbing left hand. And here's the thing, these fighters know each other way better than we know them. And the weaknesses are not necessarily what, what you see with the eye, it's the intangible. It's in certain moments. Ramsey said that we want to see if Bo's dick is comfortable in every single range. And I said, well, what range do you think he's not comfortable in? He said, inside, in the pocket. And Teddy Atlas just warned him, not too close when you jab. Yes. Beautiful shot. Yeah, but Bo's dick got the better of that, and he hurt better be at it. Good Ooh. work there. Ooh. End of six is heating up here in Philly. Oh, and a clubbing shot. And they're saying no knockdown scores. Well, you don't have to worry about bruising and punishing when it comes to better be. I mean, he throws punches on the inside where his forearm ends up behind the guy's head at times. But this is why a lot of guys don't take these kind of risks. They don't want to take these kind of fights. They don't want to deal with this kind of pressure for the whole world to see. Jab that time. Yeah, and occasionally gets popped with the jab, sitting in still, sitting right yep. in front for a little bit too long. There's that left hook from Better Be It. Mm. Right hand to the body. That right Once here. they hear that clap of the final seconds of each round, we get intense action. Sitting in round eight, 89 punches landed from Better Be 87 from Vostick. Well, Vostick right now got to answer himself some questions. That right hand to the body. Keeps going there with it. Straight right hand to the body from Better Bia. And you see the offense. Bostick comes with a right hand over the top against Better Bia. Mm. And a one-two with a right hand that lands on the back end. That's what I'm talking about. Answer those questions. Mm. Beautiful right hand exchange from both guys. Good defense from Bozdick there in the inside. Good upper you know, body head movement to get away from yeah. those clubbing shots. A series of rights and lefts from Better BF. If Bozdick is throwing the volume, whereas Better BF. Those are shots that right, that overhand right, he got to be weary of. Throwing the jab, ooh, that body shot right there, that hurt him. You see the elbows get pit down on. But the body language of Better Biev has been better than the body language of Bose did. So that'll cause a judge to sway in the direction of Better Biev because he looks like he's in command. And then you get these combinations coming from. And now Better Biev is swarming here in the midst of round nine. Vostik ties up of Better Biev. He just comes across as the sturdier, stronger, more dominant force. Another body shot from Better Biev. This is a clear better BF round as he's on the attack on the inside. Remember, Atlas told him he doesn't want him there. He's exhausted. That's a big right hand right and there. And better BF is mauling right now. Right uppercut comes in from better BF. Two undefeated champs, but one's in control here in round nine right now. Vostick. He better tie up. Better be, he's not allowing him to. Better be, he's not allowing Vostick to tie up. Bozdick he's better tie right up. Thing. Look he's at better be. To the head and to the body, and then he's pushing him off and walking right back to him. Get back to it. But better be, has been relentless, and there's a right hand that comes over the top to open up this 10th round. Here we see him step to the side, land a grazing shot right there, another flicking shot. But watch out here. Still two minutes to work. And Better BF is so powerful, so strong. Push down, push down. Break, break. Right hand comes in again. Then a short left hand on the inside. Vostick is hurt. Vostick goes down. Still a minute to go in round 10, and here comes Better BF. He wants to close the show. Trying to become a unified champion. Can Vozdik survive here and make it to these championship rounds? Short left hand. He goes down again. Better BF is dominating here. Second.
second knockdown score in this 10th round. Archer better be at 14-0 with 14 knockouts is number 15 in front of him. Trying to come over the top with the right hand. That's it. It's over. Archer better be at is the unified light heavyweight champion of the world. Found a way to get this job done. And here's the end of the fight. And the ref seems enough. Knockdown number three. And better be it. Oh, he clips him with the right hand. Clips him with the right hand here in the closing seconds of round number one. It doesn't take much with this kind of power from better be it. You could hear it, and it came with such velocity. He just has absolute wrecking balls in his glove, so it doesn't take much. First knockdown scored, end of round one. Another counter opportunity, but better be of always closing that gap, able to block that uppercut. Left hook on the inside, short right trying to split the guard. Dynas is having some decent success without a right jab. He's mm. leading with those straight lefts and those right hooks. If he could bring his jab first and then bring the combos, he would have more success. Widely reported that if Smith wins that fight, better BF gets through this title defense, they will put all three belts on the line and unify. See, better BF just doesn't throw caution to the wind. He's actually sets up his offense. See those rope burns on the back of Dynas. Got to be careful to stay in that position too long against this kind of pile driving power, changing up levels as he sends the right hand to the body on the back end of that combination. One, two from Better PF. Very heavy handed. And mauling when he gets going. Oh, good work doubling up the left hand. He went to the body. Well placed right hand to the body, goes there again. That's also a good moment for Dynas to explode with that left hand and right hook because Better Beef is right in front of him. Better Beef is over his feet right there. And I know he's in the danger zone, but a Better Beef is trying to hit you just like that, try to get a shot through. And that's what Dynas does with the uppercut. Better Beef is taking his time. He needs the rounds. Right hand scored well from Better Beef. He's not forcing the knockout uh, test. He's not forcing the knockout. Yes. Splits the guard, then wraps around the left hook. Lunging right hand from the champ. Dinos now he picks up the pace with a little thud, doesn't he, Dre? Yeah, D Dinos thought he was safe from that range, and he found out very quickly that he wasn't. You see how hard Dinos has to work just to get some offense. Then he has to take shots from better BF like this. And then he drops a right hand to the body as well. But he occupied Dynas to the head first, and then he landed the straight right to the body. The better BF does have a lot of skill, but I'm not sure if you strip away his physical strength and punching power and keep the skill that he's the same fight. Yeah, but the, the muscles and all that, I, I, I don't want to confuse the fans and think that they got to have muscles like that. Well, that's why we it. said functional. It's, 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 he, it translates in the ring. Body work and then brings it upstairs. Right, or left hand over the top. From a programming standpoint, you want a devastating knockout. <laughs> Second knockdown scored, and it comes here in round 10. He doesn't look good. Oh, they're up on the apron. That's it. It's over.
That inexorable march forward, short left hand, and there goes. Final 10 seconds of round two. Not a lot happening, but Marcus Brown, the busier fighter, certainly landed more shots here in the second round, and you'd have to think that's two rounds in the bank for the challenge. Brown, of course, a part of that 2012 U.S. Olympic team that is just absolutely stacked. Now that Marcus Brown has stepped in the ring here tonight, just a terrific team was that 2012 squad. That's a stacked Olympic boxing team. Good shot there from Benner Biev. That's where ben Brown has to be careful. But it's exactly those sequences where he's found himself in trouble in the past. He doesn't want to be leaning against some ropes against a guy like Better Biev. Get off his foot, man. Couple quick punches by Marcus Brown up the middle there. And to your point, Steve. No punches, no punches, no Brown punches. finding himself. Oh, that is a Can't nasty gash. If he has any any dream to win in this fight, he cannot let Arthur Better be out bullying him around and box banging around. Hard body shot from Better B.M. Mm -hmm. as he goes back downstairs with the left hand. You can just hear the power of Better B.M. Marcus Brown throwing hard shots to the body in response as well. You have to hand it to him. This is better work from better B.F. This is where he wants to be. He wants to keep his guy trapped in the rope. Foot! I want to take a point. You see stepping on the foot. A beautiful jab right, by Better no no That's good work from better B.F. Three and four. Oh, a good right hand by Better B.F. Seconds left to go in the round as Better Biev finding some good openings. Right hands. Brown trying to counter off the ropes, but Better Biev just overwhelming him right now. And Brown just covering up as the seconds tick away. Absolutely. Like we said earlier, sometimes it takes a little bit to get going. Uh, but now he's almost in full throttle here by the end of that last round. Left hook from Better BF. Freezes Brown along the ropes. Oh, a beautiful one, two by Better BF. He's behind it with a good left hook, and there's that right hand that he just wraps around the guard of Marcus Brown. Better oh, BF leaps right in. Hand. Leaps in with a jab, comes behind it with a right hand, and Brown barely stays on his feet. I feel that now that uh, Marcus Brown has slowed down a little bit, I feel that he has a little more confidence to throw that power jab and really push Marcus Brown in the corner. So he can unload like he's doing here. Better BF is a tough man to contend with when he feels that he has you hurt. Good oh, shot to the body. beautiful left hook to the body. And a right hand right behind it, and Marcus Brown will take a knee. One minute and change is an eternity for the only world champion in boxing with a 100% knockout ratio. And Corey, to point some note, as I talked, as we mentioned earlier, uh, Better BF isn't just an aggressive, tough fighter. He's skilled and smart to take away the left hand when he has Marcus Brown the ropes and dig those shots to the body. He's a very, very smart fighter, just like he did right there and scoops that right hook. Or that specialty shot. Brown still trying to recover. Better BF. You see Brown just stationary. Better BF is able to turn him. He's able to get different angles. Ten seconds remaining here in round seven. Well, if you want to be a world champion, you better be capable. But I think that this is possible what he has left. He's had eight and like I said earlier, Corey, just the constant pressure and the threat of better BF is enough to drain him. From the challenge. Another good right hand from better BF. Round nine 
begins. And again, to Marcus Brown's credit, he's hurt, but he's trying to make adjustments. But now he might really be hurt with better BM all over him. Oh, and yeah. down he goes after a hard left uppercut. Four, five, six. How much more can seven, Marcus Brown take? Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see the replay. I don't know if it was a, it was a left hook uppercut to the body. He got it. Let's see if we can see it here. Was it a body shot or a head shot that got it? Left hook to the body. That was a left body shot. Right the late reaction. Right. 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 Liver shot did it. Not an easy one to referee, goddammit. 